welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Jetway HA09 AMD motherboard. This one here uses the new AMD chipset, the 890GX, as opposed to the 790, which I reviewed previously on the HA08 version of this board. Now, this supports AM3 socket CPUs only up to 140 watts, so you're set there for the six core CPUs that AMD has released, as well as serial ATA 3.0, which supports six gigabits per second. This one here comes with lots of overclocking uh, capabilities on the board, um, and we'll review those in a moment, as well as the same quality that Jetway has on its boards, such as the HA08. Actually, by looking at this board, I could swear it looked exactly like the HA08, but of course it isn't exactly the same. But it's very similar, the configuration, it's part of the Hummer series. It has high quality capacitors, it has similar color coordination going on. This one, however, supports up to 16 gigabytes of memory as opposed to the previous release, which uh, HA08 had 8 gigabytes. So this one has more capability there. And uh, it still supports your IDE drive, so if you have an older drive, you can still connect that here on the Ultra DMA, and there's your power as well. So you've got those two there, and the headers here, you've got a power switch, a reset switch, and a fan header there, and there are your six SATA 3.0 connections there, six gigabits per second. The new Southbridge uh, chip is right underneath that nice looking heat sink, which we've seen before. And it's got the uh, LED display there, the readouts, those engineering codes, and also temperature readings that you can get from there. So that's terrific. And uh, USB headers are along the side, and your Express PCI Express slots are all along the top here. You can see there's two PCI Express 2.0 slots, so you can run Crossfire configuration. It's got a mini uh, PCI Express slot for like a wireless card in there, for example, and um, and your regular PCI 32-bit. Uh, slot as well. So there's another look at it and it's got a nice heat pipe also going from the voltage regulators to the north bridge. Here is the uh, rear of the um, board. It has all the standard components for your uh, onboard video which by the way it's using the HD 4290. It's got HD audio and we're going to test this out using not just the onboard video but I have put in an HD 5830 ATI Radeon card as well so you can see how it performs. So here it is, CPU-Z Windows 7 detects everything fine. You can see uh, the Jetway board BIOS update, the latest one I've got there installed. Two uh, gigs of uh, memory, the Kingston HyperX, high quality memory going on there as well. And you can see there the built-in onboard video card, which is using about 368 megs of system memory right now. Okay. Now you can disable that, of course, and put in your own video card, which is what I did. So here is what uh, CPU-Z is reporting with the uh, cooler. Full load, I'm running about uh, 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, no load, 35 degrees Celsius on this uh, Phenon 2 quad core 955 at 3.2 gigahertz, as you can see. Uh, so everything is detected. The fans can be controlled through the BIOS, of course. Running some benchmarks here without the video card, without the HD5830. You get these lower scores. You can use the system as is. You don't need a video card. It's fine to run movies, surf the net, the word processing, and Office PC, you know, supports the latest CPUs. Add the uh, 5830 in there and bam, instant performance, and you get lots of um, frames per second. Same thing on the PC Mark Vantage. If you don't put the video card in, here are the scores without the um, HD 5830, okay? Slap the 5830 in there, boom, instant gaming suite performance there. You can see how the scores go up. Okay, so this board is obviously flexible, and um, you can use it with the onboard video or not. And here are the frames per second with the uh, HD 5830. And of course, you can install uh, the latest games on here and run them, and you're going to get really good performance. Here I am playing Split Second. I don't know if you guys have seen this new game that's uh, being released this year. And um, it's terrific, running really nice, cool graphics, very smooth. And uh, no issues here on uh, with this board and the amount of memory that I had installed. So uh, not bad at all. Now in the uh, box, along with this, of course, you're going to get the uh, driver utility CD. You're going to get the manual that it came with. You're going to get the uh, IO Shield um, backplate there for the um, board. And you're going to get also the cables. Okay, so your ID cable, a power cable there from uh, 
SATA to Molex and your SATA cable um, as well. Okay, so everything there from Jetway ready to go, uh, except for the CPU, of course. You got to get that yourself. There's another look at the board. Um, not bad for roughly about a hundred dollars, you know, depending on where you get it. Okay, maybe a little bit more. So um, there it is from Jetway, and I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.